This video is about the repair of the Samsung ice paddle for the model in the title. <clears throat> the symptom is that the ice paddle does not work and overextends to activate the water paddle. Normally, there is a switch click sound as the ice paddle is pressed, similar to the sound when the water paddle is pressed, something that is missed when this breaks. So if the ice paddle can be pushed far enough to activate the water paddle, then the plastic piece on the ice paddle that activates the ice switch is broken and this is the right video for you. This video is a supplement to a pretty good YouTube video at this link which got me started on my repair. So be sure to view this link first. It is important to remove the one screw on the bottom as shown in the other video also. It is the large silver screw halfway back on the right of the chrome piece underneath, as you can see now. I used the method he used, leaning up against the handles and yanking on the very bottom of the display assembly. I had the power on when trying, and even before it released, the display locked up and would not respond. I had to unplug and plug the refrigerator back in to reset the processor to get back to normal operation. So it is a good idea to unplug first. When it is released, it is somewhat violent, but fortunately it did not do damage, except that it dislodged a piece, a plastic piece around the ice flap that, when hooked back and pressed back into place, the ice flap made a horrible sound since it was blocked by the opening. How unfortunately I could reach back in and reposition that part without removing the display again. Next time I think I would try using a putty knife to press the tab on the right. If one of the tabs releases when the others should it should release much easier. That tab is shown here, about an inch above the bottom edge of the display. The refrigerator still operates when the assembly is released, but hanging from the door. I don't have small kids around, so I left it dangling for a few days while I prepared for the steps below. Once released, the water tube will prevent full removal. removal. It can be easily pressed out of its clear tabs. Now there is one connector that needs to be unplugged to remove the display unit with paddle assembly. I pressed on the tab to the left to free the connector. I had to look at the new unit to get a better understanding of the tab that holds it in and where the connector comes apart. I had to remove the two cables coming from the paddle insert. A sketch may help in reassembly. As in the other video, I tried just pulling out the paddle insert, but it was stuck. Probably why some people buy the whole unit, including the display, for an additional $100 above the $80 that I spent. Four things stopped me. First, two little nipples at the far end away from the display that fit into indents in the metal piece. Worse, the vertical tabs on the sides. Water corrosion on metal had raised its surface such that the vertical tabs would not allow movement. I used clippers to remove these tabs. This shows the nipples in green and the vertical pieces in red. These are colors I added. In the picture, the vertical tabs have already been removed. Now, the paddle assembly slid out easily. Sandpaper removed the corrosion on the metal piece. The metal piece shown was pressed back into place and the new paddle assembly slid in easily. I reattached the two connectors to the display unit. I should have verified that the ice gate on the refrigerator door opened and closed freely by pushing down from inside of the door. I hooked the complete assembly's connector back onto the refrigerator. I pushed the water hose back into the clear plastic tabs. I plugged the refrigerator back in while the assembly was hanging to verify that the touch display and the water and ice tabs were operational. I removed the power and pressed the assembly back into place, first by setting the top tabs, then the left side, and then pressing in the, on the right. There is also a plastic piece underneath that needs to be set into small indentations in the door. You can barely see the tab and the indentation here on the right. Hope it all works out. As a disclaimer, any official Samsung warnings provided in their manuals supersede any steps I took in my repair. Good luck.